In this video, we're going to see the function block counter up down. Let's head over to the OpenPLC editor. So first of all, I need to create a new project. And to do that, I need to create a new folder. I will name the folder as So up, down, and I will press enter. After that, I will change the language to data diagram, keeping the PoU name and PoU type as it is. Then I will press OK. I will drag this down. And after I'm going to add two power rails, one on the left side, then again add the power rail for my right side. Then keep them aligned and I'm going to add the block from the standard function block the up down counter which has two inputs count up and count down it can be used to both count up on one input and count down on the other i'm going to increase the size of the block then Start with the variables. Now I'm going to start with the contact here. Which is the countdown. Count up and I will join the pin and onto the second contact which is the countdown adjust the size and join the pin then onto the reset which I will use as normally closed contact. The reset value and 
Element LD. I'll join the pins, then onto the coil here. Which is the coil up. I'll adjust its block size, then join the pins. Then again, with the coil down, of the variable will be output then I'm going to join these pins drag this down and use the count value and preset value as integer then give an initial value of 50 Then I'm going to start the simulation. The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. Drag this up. As the coil up is false and coil down is true as it should be. For the coil down, when the count value is zero, it's true for the coil up when the count value is same as preset value, well, it's true. So when I count up, So now the count value is 1, which is greater than 0, and the coil down is negative, and coil up is also negative. Number of times I'm going to pulse it are the numbers which is going to be counting as the count value. Same goes for our countdown. Number of times I'm going to pulse. Number of times it's going to count the value downwards. As it's zero now and the coil down is true. So when the count up is pulsed 50 times and the count value is 50, the count up will be true. Let me stop the simulation and show you exactly how it goes. So as you can see now, the preset value is 5 instead of 50.
you just need to reset it first to to function the count up down block so I will false it and pulse it the second time the third time the fourth time and the fifth time as I said earlier that when the count value is same as the preset value the coil up will go true and the down will be true when the count value is zero I will stop the simulation. With this, I will video ends here. Thank you for watching.